Everyone's out for summer, it needn't be a bummer. Just grab your you can play along to this week's summer's drama. Hello, it's me, the ukulele teacher, with this week's Summer Strummer, another kid-friendly song. This week, I'm doing All Is Found from Frozen 2, as sung by Evan Rachel Wood. I've got a whole playlist of Frozen songs, and that's something you guys are going to have a lot of fun with if you haven't seen them already. So, grab your uke, make sure it's in tune, and let's go ahead and learn how to play All Is Found. The first thing I'm going to do is play you through verse 1 to give you guys a little snippet of how the song will sound when you've learned it. Then I'm going to break it down for you section by section. And then don't go anywhere because at the end of the video, we are going to play through the whole song together, just you and me, in our play-along party. Where the north wind meets the sea There's a river Sleep, my darling, safe and sound, for in this river all is found. Now guys, I've got great news for you. The first two thirds of this song are super, super, super easy with just some really straightforward chords that most of you will probably know already. Unfortunately, the final verse, verse three, is where things start to get a little bit tricky, but don't worry, because I've got a little handy hint to make it a little bit easier for you to play along anyway. These are the chords that you'll need for verse 1 and 2. If you already know them, then skip ahead now. To play the chord of A minor, just put your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of A minor should sound like this. To play the chord of D, you can either put your first, second, and third fingers on the second fret of the fourth, third, and second strings. And the chord of D will sound like this. Or you can bar the second fret with your first finger. That means you push down on all four strings at the same time. And then add your fourth finger to the fifth fret of the first string. And the chord of D will sound like this. It's absolutely up to you which one you choose. To play the chord of F, put your first finger on the first fret of the second string. And your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And the chord of F should sound like this. To play the chord of C, just put your third finger on the third fret of the first string. And the chord of C should sound like this. To play the chord of D minor, go back to that F shape, but add your third finger to the second fret of the third string. And the chord of D minor should sound like this. To play the chord of G, put your first finger on the second fret of the third string. Put your second finger on the second fret of the first string, and then put your third finger on the third fret of the second string. And the chord of G should sound like this. These are the three extra chords you'll need in the bridge. To play the chord of B flat by the first and second strings on the first fret with your first finger. That means you push down on both strings at the same time with the same finger. Then add your second finger to the second fret of the third string and your third finger to the third fret of the fourth string. And the chord of B flat should sound like this. To play the chord of E minor, put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, your second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. And the chord of E minor should sound like this. And to play the chord of F minor, put your first finger on the first fret of the fourth string, your second finger on the first fret of the second string, and your fourth finger on the third fret of the first string. And you can also use your third finger to put that down on the second fret of the first string. It won't change the sound of the chord, but it will give your pinky finger a little bit of extra support. And the chord of F minor should sound like this. So moving on to verse one and two, the good news is they're very, very straightforward. They're each made up of just four lines and both verse one and verse two are exactly the same. This song is nice and slow and nice and relaxed. I'm just gonna play soft downstrokes all the way through with my thumb. You start off by playing four downstrokes on A minor and four on B, then four on F and four on C. Then two on D minor, four on F, two on G, and four on A minor. 
and that's how to play your verse. So let's go ahead now and play through verse one all together nice and slow. Where the north wind meets the sea, there's a river full of memory. Sleep, my darling, safe and sound, for in this river all is found. And that's how to play verse one. And guess what? It's also exactly the same for verse two. So if you're ready, that wasn't too much of a challenge. Let's carry on and play through verse two as well. In her waters, deep and true, lie the answers and a path for you. Dive down deep into her sound, but not too far or you'll be drowned. In case you guys are wondering, this beautiful ukulele was given to me by my very good friends at Carla. If you'd like more information about this particular uke with its built-in EQ so you can plug it in and its built-in tuner so you never have to look for your little clip-on tuner again, then click on the special link in the video description below. And just by clicking on that link, you will save money on anything on the Carla website just because you watch my videos. And that takes us into the bridge, which is where the song changes really for the first time. And for the bridge, the chords are a smidgen more complicated, but it's nice and easy to remember because we just play four downstrokes on each of those chords. So let's play through the bridge together now like this. One, two, three. Yes, she will sing to those who hear, and in her song, all man magic flows but can you brave what you most fear can you face what the river knows all that leaves us with now is learning how to play the third and final verse the bad news is the chords are a lot more complicated the good news is the strumming pattern is exactly the same and there's an easy way to remember or to learn the chords that we're playing in this third and final verse. And the secret is they're all just one semitone up from the chords in verses one and two. What that means is you're basically playing every chord one up from what you were doing before. So where, for example, the first chord in verses one and two was A minor. The first chord in verse three is B flat minor, which is basically the shape of A minor, but slid up one whole fret. So where we would have had our second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, we'll put our third finger on the third fret of the fourth string. And then where we would have had three open strings, we'll put our first finger on the first fret of strings three, two, and one. And that'll give us B flat minor. Where the second chord in verses one and two was the chord of D, the second chord in verse three is E flat. And if you were playing the D as a bar chord like this, all you have to do is slide that up one fret like this. In the second line, the chords were F and C. Now they're G flat and D flat. Again, they sound a bit more complicated, but they're actually nice and straightforward to play. To play the chord of G flat, we can just take our G shape and slide it down one fret. Then stretch our fourth finger across to the third fret of the fourth string. And the chord of G flat should sound like this. And instead of the chord of C, we now play the chord of D flat. And again, we just move what would be on the third fret of the first string to the fourth fret of the first string. And then we'll bar those open strings on the first fret as well. And the chord of D flat will sound like this. Instead of D minor in verse three, we play E flat minor. And all we really have to do with that is play the chord of D minor like this and just slide it all up one fret. And then we can put our first finger on that first fret of the open first string. And the chord of E flat minor should sound like this. And whereas before we would have gone from F to G in verses one and two, here we go from G flat, which we already know, and just slide that whole thing up two frets to A flat, before ending once again on B flat minor. So let's go ahead now, nice and slow, and just play through verse three together. Where the north wind 
meets the sea There's a mother full of memory Come my darling homeward bound When all is lost then all is found So now we've learned verses one and two, we've learned the bridge, and we know how to play verse three. Let's put the whole thing together and have a play along party. Yes, just you and me are gonna play along the entire song together, nice and slow, from the top. Everything you need is gonna be right here on the screen for you. But if you'd like a PDF song sheet to help you put the whole thing together and play it at home, sign up today to patreon.com slash uteacher. Where the north wind meets the sea, there's a ring. Sleep, my darling, safe and sound, for in this river all is found. In her waters, deep and true, lie the answers and a path for you. Dive down deep into her sound But not too far or you'll be drowned Yes, she will sing to those who hear And in her song all magic flows But can the river knows where the north wind meets the sea there's a mother full of memory come my darling homeward bound when all is lost then all is found together and that's how to play All Is Found from Frozen 2. I've been the ukulele teacher. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. Subscribe now and turn on those notifications so you never miss a lesson. If you have any requests for future lessons then let me know right now in the comments below. Otherwise until next time I love you all and I wish you the best.